In each Masters of Beautiful Achievements Academy episode, Alexander Princeton interviews guests about how solutions inspired by nature can provide sustainable opportunities for our future challenges. Since 2013, he is globally researching sustainable business models and innovations. To share his findings, he founded the Masters of yes. Beautiful Achievements Academy. In this episode, we dive deeper into how water, microbiology, ecological engineering, and urban circularity are connected. Inspired by nature's ecological systems, my guest is a thought leader on solving the water purification challenges for urban cities globally. Istvan Kinjeres calls himself a creative ecologist. He is globally recognized as one of the leading experts of applying ecosystem services to wastewater treatment systems. After a long career as a microbial researcher at the Budapest University of Technology, Istvan decided to take matters in his own hands. Since 1989, he founded various biotechnology companies in the field of wastewater management. And currently, he's president of Biopolis, about which we will hear so much more today. It is a really great honor uh, to have you today with us, Isfan. Thank you very much, Alexander. Uh, it's always a pleasure to talk uh, uh, to young uh, uh, guys uh, who are uh, interested in this uh, uh, opportunities in water engineering, water treatment, and this is always a pleasure for me to talk about what I love the best, uh, talking about uh, the uh, living systems and what I'm doing uh, on this world. Yes, because because we met each other, I think it's half a year ago in the, the Netherlands. Um, I, you was you were giving a presentation at one of the one of the congresses there, and what you presented as an innovative solution for wastewater treatment systems uh, really got my imagination. Um, if I recall correctly, it was for a local monastery and its brewery uh, uh, location, the Abdijk Koningshoven, uh, using nature as a biotechnology and an ecosystem services uh, system. Can you tell us more about what you're company Biopolis uh, is about and how you got involved in this really interesting innovation? So uh, actually Biopolis is a, a developing uh, solutions for cities, for, for, for urban uh, settlements, urban environments and solutions which I, I, I call a, a, a water-based urban circularity solutions. Uh, the technology I have developed in the past uh, decades uh, as a uh, 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 a really fantastic uh, a, a technology in itself, not only uh, uh, of the, 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 the numbers, the, the, the efficiency or, uh, uh, and the, the, the competitiveness of the technology, but, but uh, I, I would say that this is the, probably the, the sexiest face of the treatment <laughs> solution in the world, uh, with a look and feel of botanical garden, uh, a, a place where you care can enter, uh, you can sit down in a lush vegetation, uh, you can hear the, the, the song of the of birds and listen to, 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 the, to, the, to, the, to the, the flow of water, and it, 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 it can be a beautiful place. So what we are doing, but, but this is the, 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 the technology, I, I, I would love to talk a little bit more about uh, uh, later, but a, 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 our approach is uh, providing a, a, not just a, a, a wastewater treatment, water recycling system, which uh, is efficient and and uh, and uh, uh, but also which can fit a, a seamlessly into an urban and dense urban urban environment. And uh, what we are doing is is, is really a, a water recycling technology uh, which is very small. The uh, odorless uh, uh, really looks like a, a, a palm house. Uh, uh, can fit into a, 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 an urban building, but also, and it is very important that uh, it is uh, developed in a way that it can be used as a platform technology. Platform technology uh, uh, means that that uh, just like a uh, you can download apps to your smartphone. Uh, we use, we de developed this water recycling system, 
uh, to be able to run different apps, different modules, uh, uh, not just water recycling, but a, a combining a wastewater treatment with, with, with organic waste processing, a, a, this a smart a, a, a system, a, we call it a, sometimes metabolic hubs, urban metabolic hubs or biomakeries a, can convert wastewater and organic materials into products. And products means water products, energy products, biological manufactured uh, products, uh, recovering uh, resources and nutrients, uh, producing a uh, saleable, usable, profitable uh, products. So this is the essence uh, of, uh, uh, of our uh, uh, business, uh, which is based uh, equally on, on the on the research and development side, developing new solutions, uh, uh, closing the, the urban uh, water, food waste, uh, 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 energy loops, but also how this can be put into practice. So if, if, if I uh, summarize it, um, Biopolis is, is, a, is a research and development platform which develops certain modules. Um, you mentioned is wastewater, organic waste systems, which can create energy, clean water, uh, biomass, even derived products from the wastewater stream, which, which, are decent, which can be, which are decentralized in cities or in urban areas where, where the need is required. Uh, actually, Biopolis is a group of companies. Oh, and, okay, yeah. And, and then uh, I felt extremely important and based on my previous uh, experience, both as a researcher and as, an, as a serial entrepreneur, that, that we need both functions, the R&D functions and the, the, the commercial uh, functions. Uh, uh, but uh, some, sometimes it is better to have uh, these functions in separate entities. So but the Biopolis group is uh, designed in a way that, that we have one separate uh, 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 entity that is, is called the Biopolis Institute, which is a, a non-profit private R&D uh, organization. Uh, uh, and we have uh, Biopolis Technologies Inc., which is a, 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 a commercial entity a, a designed and built and managed in a way to commercialize all the, the, the solutions, technologies we have developed at the Institute and, and really uh, monetizing uh, the knowledge. But uh, uh, it's very important that, that, that uh, the, the development side, we decided to, uh, to build an open innovation platform. Mm -hmm. It means that the that a, a, a Biopolis Institute is a relatively small organization, but we are working with, with the top universities, uh, research organizations, companies uh, in the world, uh, with, uh, also with individuals, uh, uh, to develop, uh, uh, to work, work together on different aspects. Just let me give you an example. Uh, so we see our technology, uh, what we call the, this uh, bioreactor technology, it is called the metabolic network reactor system. Uh, I will come back to this later. This is very, very much uh, the, 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 uh, uh, the next generation of, of, of uh, the technology which John Todd started uh, 20 years or 25 years ago in the US uh, as a living machine, but this is now the, the most advanced uh, 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 version of, of this uh, uh, concept. Uh, but uh, we use it as, 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 as I said, a, a platform technology. We are developing uh, certain additional modules, mm -hmm. just like, for example, urban farming solutions. Uh, or, or uh, uh, which can be added to a water recycling system. Uh, but also we are working with companies and organizations uh, 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 to develop uh, other apps. Uh, 
it, just like if you, you, you think of, 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 uh, of, uh, I, of the iPhone, Apple developed uh, the iPhone, but the, and, and a few uh, apps uh, uh, integrated into the system. But the millions of, of, of apps now you can uh, buy on, uh, in the App Store uh, uh, have been developed by companies, individuals, uh, understanding the, the, how the, the system, how their apps should uh, be, be, be best run uh, on an existing platform. But uh, 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 these uh, developers uh, uh, have their own businesses. And this is how we are working. We are working with, with, with these uh, development partners, uh, uh, looking for, for opportunities, uh, uh, either cross-licensing, joint development, shared IP, uh, uh, actually uh, trying to, to, uh, to bring uh, in as much brain capacity as possible. We cannot uh, invent ev everything. Uh, and, and we can offer a, 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 a legal co a structure where all these developers uh, 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 see their, 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 their uh, uh, business opportunity as well. And, and you, you mentioned John Todd um, with his living machine and he was a legend in his time of uh, creating a decent, decentralized wetland system. Um, I'm really curious, what did you, how did you improve on that and, and how do you connect all these different, uh, let's say living, which is one of the five kingdoms, how do you connect them all together to produce clean water out of something that was polluted when it came in? Uh, so actually John Todd uh, started his uh, living machine concept, uh, actually not as a, as a wetland, uh, from the very, very beginning, he uh, was thinking in, in reactor-based uh, okay. uh, uh, using plants uh, actually on top of the reactors, uh, but uh, just like a, a kind of a hydroponic uh, system. Uh, the plant roots uh, 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 were dangling into the water and providing surfaces for, for, for a, a attached growth, a biofilm and, and the habitat for, for a hundreds and thousands of, of species. What a, we have a, developed, the, a, how we developed this technology further and, and a, a starting to work with John and his colleagues a, a, in, 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 the, in the late 90s a, a, was a, a adding uh, some extra uh, 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 surfaces to this uh, uh, system. Uh, one was the, that after studying the, 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 the structures and the specialties and, 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 uh, and the, the physiology of, of, uh, of natural plant roots, uh, I realized that, that, that plant roots, uh, while offering fantastic special features, for 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 uh, for a, a very a, a robust habit, habitat, uh, they have certain limitations. Plant roots cannot grow deeper than one one and one and a half meter in the water. Uh, it takes time. They are sometimes very sensitive uh, to to shocks and 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 physical uh, 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 interventions. So uh, uh, how we can we can uh, imitate? Nature. I've started to, to develop a, a, what I call a engineered or, or, or artificial root structures, mm -hmm. a, a, and and by combining a, a natural plant roots and a artificial root a, surfaces, a, a, we could develop a, an extremely robust system a, using two to three thousand different species a, a, working together. Uh, in, in, in a very, very uh, uh, orchestrated uh, uh, way. Uh, also, uh, the, the, the way how we, we, we extended uh, John's uh, uh, idea was uh, uh, using even more uh, 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 reactors, uh, dividing the, the reactor space into smaller compartments uh, and uh, providing the opportunity to to develop uh, sub-ecosystems. Mm -hmm. So 
uh, if uh, imagine that that each reactor with its attached growth biofilm a uh, a uh, 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 biomass uh, uh, structure uh, can be different from each other so if uh, we, we we offer an opportunity uh, to um, uh, uh, for an ecosystem uh, to adapt to certain uh, 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 compounds or, or 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 special tasks, and using these reactors in a in an intelligently uh, connected network of bioreactors, uh, we can we can uh, extend uh, the, the 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 capacity and uh, of the system. Uh, uh, it it means uh, that uh, just imagine that that for these uh, organisms. Uh, from microbes to much higher organisms. Uh, what, uh, uh, waste water and organic waste is food. So if you, you put all the, the, the food in one bowl, uh, the soup, the meat, the pasta, everything, it really, it, it, it doesn't uh, feel good. But if you create a, a spaces where, where a, 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 an ecosystem can really focus on on those special a uh, a uh, a uh, uh, diet. Uh, it can be much more efficient. The the uh, the bottom line is that that uh, developing further the, the the living machine concept, we could a uh, a uh, a uh, a uh, provide a a. a a wastewater water recycling system, which can be less than one tenth in footprint in size than wow. conventional systems. So imagine, and 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 it, this can be a, from a, a water treatment efficiency, meaning the 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 effluent quality can be really spring water quality. So how to 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 convert wastewater sewage to spring water? In, in a in a, 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 a extremely small beautiful building which can be even a, a built vertically in the middle of a city Th this is what we, and and using much less energy a, a much better effluent quality than any conventional wastewater treatment plant they can offer now on the market so this is what 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 we have in our hand but as, as I said a, a, a it is not just a, about cleaning water and recycling water, but mm -hmm. it is about a, a, a using a, a, and a connecting the different flow of materials and energy a, in an integrated way, just like in nature. Uh, and you mentioned the the the, uh, the decentralized uh, approach. Uh, what I think it's 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 a, a, a the question is not whether we should build centralized or decentralized systems. Mm -hmm. We need a, both. A, okay. a, we, we need a cellular approach, a, 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 an interconnected network of, uh, of uh, a, a nodes, a, which can, can a, a close the loops. Because a, a, an urban circularity doesn't mean that once you have a, a a single pass flow through system, a city. It, everything is coming from the outside, water, energy, food, and the, after uh, digesting the, these uh, uh, flows, uh, the cities uh, uh, put uh, outside the waste. So uh, uh, making a city circular uh, doesn't mean that, okay, then let's create one big loop and now we are going to be circular. Mm -hmm. Nature doesn't uh, use this uh, approach. So we need to use a, a multiples of, of circularity, multiple loops, uh, depending on, on the, the available resources and, and depending on the needs. So a city uh, may have a, a hundreds uh, of, of, of uh, decentralized systems, which are connected in a, 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 an integrated network. So this, this this is our approach. So, so uh, there are two questions arising. Um, we all know that sort of there are a lot of medicine and, and other properties in our wastewater, which the current wastewater companies have challenges to 
extract. We, yeah. we have something that's called the norm. Mm -hmm. uh, but then again, you can debate whether, whether it is sufficient for human health. Mm -hmm. Um, and the second question is, I, I like to know more about the centralized and decentralized bit, but let's, let's pick the first one and then move to the second yeah, one. Yeah. So uh, first, a, 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 a circularity has a, two big challenges. One is that, that once the, the, the stuff is coming back and again and again, uh, it can be a, all the, the harmful components can be concentrated. And this is something which, which uh, 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 this is why we are working very closely with the European Space Agency. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, how how in, in a closed habitat, uh, this can be managed technically, uh, uh, really to, to, to remove uh, the, the, all those components which can be concentrated in the recycling uh, process. So uh, we use a, a, actually a, a, as much as possible biological a, a processes and steps a, 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 to a, a break down these components mm -hmm. and, the, and, the, and the using a complex ecosystem uh, it means a, 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 a amazing opportunities even to, 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 uh, a, a, to clean or degrade it's very difficult, uh, 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 biological, very difficult to degrade the uh, uh, components. Uh, and uh, 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 of course, uh, if it is necessary, we can combine a, a biological methods with, with physical and even chemical processes. Uh, uh, because, you know, I am a chemical engineer and a biotechnologist. And mm -hmm. I know uh, uh, sometimes it, it, it's funny that that if we, people saying that this is chemical, uh, or not, it must be uh, uh, bad. Uh, if it is biological, it, is, it must be good. Uh, the word is made of, of uh, uh, organic, inorganic uh, materials. Uh, even, even our, our body is, is, uh, is based on, on, on uh, chemical, biochemical uh, 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 reactions. So uh, uh, we are, we are uh, uh, open to combine uh, all the, the, the opportunities which are, uh, nature can offer, including uh, physical chemical steps. So it is possible to, to clean the water uh, and remove all these ingredients. And it is not a, 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 a matter or a question of technical uh, mm -hmm. uh, or, or economic feasibility. The, 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 the technology is ready, the, the, the cost absolutely uh, 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 feasible. Uh, the biggest, and, and believe me, the biggest challenge in the circular economy is, uh, is, the, is the, the perception and the attitude. Uh, and let me give you one example. Uh, we work very closely with, with, with I mentioned, uh, the European Space Agency. And I had the opportunity to talk with uh, uh, Samantha Cristoforetti. She is a, an Italian astronaut. Uh, uh, she spent, I think, probably the, the, the most, uh, the longest time in space as, as a woman astronaut. And uh, uh, she told me that, that, uh, that uh, even herself, uh, an engineer and a soldier, uh, uh, the, uh, the, ch the big challenge was that she knew that after using the toilet, mm -hmm. uh, 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 um, two minutes later when she washed her hand, she knew that, that, uh, that the, the water was recycled. And, and when she, she go to, to, to wash her, her hair, uh, uh, the same stuff the steam water uh, was cycled, recycled around and around. So uh, 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 people not, need to not just uh, accept circularity mm -hmm. uh, because it, it, it is a, 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 we need to be circular because to, uh, to, to survive. But uh, we need to offer a, a solutions and technologies which uh, a, can, can be uh, lovable, 
And this is why, why, why I, 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 and going back to, because it, 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 it is, it is a must. So uh, uh, you, you have to embrace circularity, mm -hmm. not just accept. And uh, uh, you started the discussion uh, uh, mentioning the, the, the uh, Trappist Brewery wastewater treatment recycle uh, uh, project. This uh, is the first uh, project uh, we, we built. Uh, we currently uh, completed the, the, uh, uh, the, the installation. Uh, uh, and uh, really, it is a 100% water recycling facility, uh, mm -hmm. uh, which uh, 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 cleans the water from the, the, the monastery and from the, the visitor centers. With, 250,000 visitors a year, and the brewery wastewater, and uh, and uh, when the our a uh, a uh, this facility was opened, uh, 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 actually a, a, a few weeks ago, uh, uh, in the ceremony, opening ceremony between the plants, uh, the beautiful flowers and plants, I. Uh, Father Isaac, the prior of the, the, the Abbey, said that, look, this is the place where water is reborn. And, mm -hmm. and, and uh, it is not just a wastewater treatment facility. And, and, the, and the, it is not enough to pray seven times a, a day uh, and uh, praying that, that uh, 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 we, we, we should build a better world. This is a place where water is reborn, and 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 the, and all the people who were there, they understood that 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 it is more than just a a, a technical issue. It is a, 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 a question of 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 uh, how you perceive uh, uh, recycling, uh, and how, how you can change your habitat. Yeah, I think you just triggered that we need to change the word recycling into rebirthing. Yes. And it, and when I've interviewed Kurt Haberg, uh, the well, he's well known for his insights in water. Mm -hmm. And from him and in the network behind it, I learned that water water is not just H2O. It's, it's a life and it breathes life and it has a soul. Mm -hmm. And rebirthing of water, I think, now, I know you cannot rephrase it better in that way. A water treatment center should be a water rebirthing center. Yes, exactly. So it's nice, yeah. Um, you also mentioned um, the, the product you're working with, with uh, ESA is, I think the project's called Melissa. Yes, a, a ESA has a, a special project uh, focusing on, on, a, on life support system, closed habitat life mm -hmm. support system alternatives. Uh, and uh, uh, really, uh, uh, I don't think that that that, uh, that building a, a, a Mars settlement is uh, is uh, really close uh, by. And uh, and uh, and uh, even if uh, if 100, 150 or, or 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 10 people on the Mars can survive and can build a close habitat, uh, uh, it is far far away. But the lessons we learned, mm -hmm. uh, 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 and 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 the way how uh, 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 those technologies developed by by uh, uh, researchers all over the world and all over Europe, how these uh, the space technology can uh, be brought down to earth. Can, this, can you, can this, you... this is our, our our approach. So we are uh, while we can add some really uh, unique features to, to uh, uh, how to design and build and operate a, 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 an engineered ecosystem, even in, in, in the harshest uh, 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 environment like Mars or, 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 or at the space station. The key is that how we can, can use this uh, vast knowledge mm -hmm. from space technology and make it available and integrate with our system and make it available to hundreds and millions of, of, uh, or, or, uh, of people uh, down here on earth. Can you give some examples of, of 
uh, those closed loop systems being developed. Um, I'm asking you uh, this because in my conversations and in my intervention with companies and individuals, I always make the uh, method for that we actually are already living in a spaceship called Spaceship Earth. Mm -hmm. And there's another spaceship orbiting our spaceship, which we call the, the space station. Mm -hmm. And the circularity in something that is sterile, which our space station is proving to be a tremendous task. Whereas if you reflect from the space station to the spaceship, Mm -hmm. uh, you recognize that all the circularity and all the integrated systems are already in place, mm -hmm. which in theory, um, the circularity or, or rebirthing of material flows should be much easier. Mm -hmm. um, we know that technology transfer from, from the space station and, and space technology to our uh, living spaceship um, is progressing very fast. Solar panels are one of those examples. I'm really curious what is coming out of the Melissa and the closed loop systems because from a circularity point of view that is what we need to survive as human species on the spaceship. Mm -hmm. What knowledge is being transferred and what, what is it what we can expect for the future? Uh, okay, so uh, well, first of all, I, I, the, 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 space, uh, the, the inter International Space Station is, is, is not a circular system. It cost a lot of money to keep it uh, uh, running and, and keep, keep those uh, uh, astronauts uh, alive. And even uh, it is a, 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 a maximum 10 person equivalent system. Mm -hmm. So uh, in itself, it, is, it cannot uh, be used as, as, as an a, a example of circularity. But uh, what a, a, the, the, the space uh, station development can add uh, lots of uh, hundreds of, 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 of uh, uh, individual solutions. And what Melissa, uh, uh, the Melissa project can, can do, uh, not necessarily on the, on, the, uh, on the space station, but uh, this is what we are also very much involved, is to create, a develop an operating system. Mm -hmm. how, how these individual solutions can fit into a, 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 into a, a complex system. Uh, and I think that, that um, uh, so just imagine that, that uh, uh, you, you may have all the, 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 the Lego blocks, but without, without having the blueprint, how this can be put together, uh, 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 you need, it's in, not, it doesn't enough you have a, a creative mind. You, you need really a, an operating system where, where all these, these uh, uh, individual solutions uh, can run and can be orchestrated. So the, the, the Melissa project is very much about a, 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 how to build engineered ecosystems. And, mm -hmm. and, but also in parallel, there are uh, uh, hundreds of, 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 of great uh, 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 development uh, processes, uh, uh, equipment, uh, instruments, uh, which at the end can fit into a, 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 a complex uh, system. So uh, I, I, th I think that, that th th this is the, the, the most important um, uh, uh, advantage of, of, of these developments that, that uh, 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 they can uh, add uh, to the, to the, to the uh, 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 how, how they, they call it is um, uh, uh, just a second. Um, um, no, I, 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 th th there's a good expression how, how a, a, the space researchers uh, a, a call the, the, the uh, um, the, yeah, well, okay, the, the, the terrestrial uh, uh, market space. Uh, so the, 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 these developments can be brought down uh, uh, for, for, for terrestrial applications. Okay, and um, as you mentioned, uh, explaining how the biomakery or the urban metabolism project works, mm -hmm. you were talking about decentralized units working as uh, with 
working as one system or do you have a lot of small systems and somewhere a bigger one which which cleans certain particular waste streams was that what you wanted to explain yeah uh, so uh, actually uh, we are developing these individual uh, biomakeries and, and metabolic hubs uh, yes in a way that these can be connected into a, a bigger network uh, 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 the, the challenge is that 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 these uh, 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 systems uh, can uh, be run as, as uh, uh, on its own mm -hmm. as, as a separate unit just as, as, a, as a, a, a single cell a, a microbe but uh, but uh, if these are uh, can be connected into a, a multicellular network uh, uh, the, 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 the advantages are much bigger uh, and, and I, I think it's important to understand that that uh, when we are thinking of, of uh, urban circularity mm -hmm. uh, uh, we have to understand that that cities uh, are built uh, uh, from urban cells, and it's surprisingly uh, 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 the urban cells are are, are surprisingly the same size. So uh, imagine that that uh, 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 the the 35 million Tokyo uh, agglomerates uh, metropolitan area. Uh, is made of the same uh, urban cells than, uh, let's say, a, 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 a Amsterdam or Stratford upon Avon in, in the UK, uh, in England. Uh, uh, typically, these urban cells are be, be between the, the size of 10 to 20,000 people. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, 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 it, cities can be considered a kind of a multicellular organism. So uh, uh, some uh, functions can be done on the cellular level, uh, some uh, uh, in a bigger, uh, 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 in, in a tissue level, mm -hmm. or an organ level, or in the, in the, the full body level. Uh, and the, we have developed a, 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 a control system and, 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 and the design system mm -hmm. that these, uh, a, a, a individual hubs a, can be connected into a, 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 an orchestrated a network. So there's some thoughts coming through my mind. Um, can you name a couple of projects and cities you're working in? Because I think that makes it a little bit more practical. Yes, yes, okay. So, uh, one, uh, there are a few projects now in the pipeline in the Netherlands. Uh, one I mentioned, the, 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 the Trappist Brewery water recycling system, which is going to be combined uh, uh, with, with the energy and, and, and organic uh, uh, material recovery. Uh, there is another one uh, we are in, 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 in the process in, in Eindhoven, uh, uh, which is with the former Philips factory. There is a, a big development, redevelopment of the, this uh, industrial area, and the, and we are uh, going to build a, a wastewater treatment plant which is uh, vertical in the middle of, of Stripe S, which is the, this uh, industrial area, and they can uh, serve uh, not only the, the, uh, uh, a decentralized water recycling system, but also to clean the groundwater of a, a contaminated industrial site and recover energy uh, and, 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 and do other jobs. Uh, there is a, a, a project, um, we, we have a couple of projects in, in the Gulf area in Dubai, in, in the Emirates, uh, where, where water recycling is really uh, uh, is at the top uh, uh, level. And one project is now a, a, a in, in Dubai is about uh, to build a, a wastewater recycling system, but which is also which also serves as a as a R and D facility and an educational uh, uh, platform for the uh, American University of Sharjah, which is one of the biggest universities in the in the Gulf region. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, we have projects in China. Uh, 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 
in Japan, for example, in Japan, we are working on, 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 on a technology, how to convert a, a, a hundreds of thousands of man-made ponds uh, you can find in, in, in Japan, a, a, a now completely a, a useless. Uh, uh, these ponds were built uh, in the past uh, centuries as, as, um, as uh, um, uh, irrigation ponds. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, but now uh, all these, or, or most of these ponds are engulfed by uh, the cities. And, and how to, to convert these uh, 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 urban water bodies into uh, 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 a... Um, a space uh, for 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 wastewater uh, uh, reuse, uh, recovery, energy recovery. Again, uh, converting these ponds into metabolic hubs, and at the same time uh, providing a, a space for leisure, entertainment, uh, uh, and to make the, the city uh, much greener. So th these are um, uh, projects in in in, in Japan and. Uh, uh, are you coming? Are you going to Africa? Not yet. Uh, we, we we do not have so far the capacity. Actually, uh, Bipolus is is now in in, in the uh, entering in the uh, growth phase. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, it's a relatively young company. I, I founded uh, five years ago uh, uh, as a, uh, as a family business uh, uh, after leaving my former company and selling. Uh, the, 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 the shares uh, in my uh, previous company and, and Bipolis is, is now a, a, a really a going to, to be a, a global a solution provider. But uh, so far, we, our focus is in China, in, 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 in Western Europe, uh, uh, very much focused in, in the Netherlands and now in, in the UK and in the Gulf region. Uh, we started uh, projects in, in the US. One of, it's a very, very interesting uh, project. When, when you think of a decentralized system, uh, 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 we identified a, a university campuses in mm -hmm. the US as one of the, the, the most exciting um, uh, 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 urban settlements with, with, with tens of thousands of students uh, 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 and how the, a, a, a water and energy and material a recycling system of a university campus can be uh, built and made the campus more efficient, more uh, 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 sustainable, more circular, saving money uh, 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 and, and, uh, and at cost. Uh, but also uh, these facilities, these metabolic hubs of a university campus can be used as, as, a, as a, a, a living learning laboratory a, a, an educational center, a, so when, when, where students and researchers can a, a see how a circularity can a, a work in practice, and they can add their own knowledge and their own a, development a, and they make it, a, as I said, a, a living learning laboratory. So we, we have a project in, in, in Florida, in Tallahassee, Mm -hmm. With one of the uh, the the uh, uh, eldest uh, 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 black universities in the U.S. that is the FAMU, the uh, Florida Agricultural and Mechanical University. Mm -hmm. This is a project we we are, I hope we we will have an up and running facility uh, in 2020, uh, both as a as a university campus a, a circularity hub and one of the, 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 the best uh, uh, R&D and innovation centers uh, uh, for, for, for circularity uh, uh, innovation in the US. Yeah, teaching, is, uh, teaching new technology, I think is, that is the most important part at the moment in our society and especially from pioneers like you is fun. It's important to learn that at least that chemistry is a solution, but first look at biology, then solve it with chemistry. Yes. And, and that is the sort of re, rewiring the minds of young people and, and, and even their professors that technology can have a different way and, and have different solutions. To use that as a stepping stone, 
you have a very interesting TED talk. I've watched it, I think, now two times, including your talk uh, at the Ellen MacArthur Foundation. And it's interesting how you bridge space technology and practicality and circularity. Um, there, also, there was also a, a part where you describe a little bit more about the, um, uh, what, what did I have here? Yes, the, the importance, one, to reflect on our spaceship, and the second one, why there, there is a inter why the link between water, biomass, and transformation process is so important to understand and actually put to, put to our use and not fight against. Can you elaborate a little bit on that? Well, I, for, 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 for me, a, a, so I see a, 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 what with urbanization, a, this is a, a huge challenge and a huge opportunity a, mm -hmm. for, 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 a, a, for mankind a, a, to completely change a, how a, our habitat is designed and, 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 and operated. And, and uh, uh, I think that, that uh, uh, the only way how, how we can, we can uh, turn a, 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 a mankind not as a parasite of, of our Earth, but uh, that uh, a, a live creating our own habitat, which can be anywhere. Mm -hmm. in, in, in the universe, uh, uh, how we can create a life, how we can create a, 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 an ecosystem. Uh, th this is a, a, the only way we, we, we can proceed in, in, in turning uh, cities into a, a, a circular system. But I think that, that um, while space technology and research is extremely important, I uh, cannot uh, emphasize enough that, that we need to combine this with, 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 with a, a very, very entrepreneurial approach. Uh, because uh, 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 we, we, we need to, to, uh, to understand how these uh, uh, solutions and processes can be put into practice. And and uh, and uh, uh, I think I, I'm 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 really proud of of being uh, both a researcher and an and, 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 and entrepreneur, uh, uh, and because it's it, it's not really not only uh, to to implement uh, circularity and sustainability is a, a only a part is about technologies, uh, but but we need to change the mindset. We need to change the the the. the the, the attitude, and and the only way uh, to do is uh, this is is to 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 build a, a examples. A yes, and talking about uh, your experience as an entrepreneur, mm -hmm. can you share some some highs and lows uh, sure. of bridge of bringing inventions to the market? Yeah. Well, first of all, it was really funny. I, I, I was born in a communist country and, and uh, 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 I was close to 40 when uh, the, the, due to political changes, uh, uh, it was uh, possible to, to, uh, to start a business in Hungary. So uh, uh, when, when it happened, I left immediately the university. <laughs> <laughs> Took all my patents, inventions, and started a business. Uh, uh, and uh, um, uh, since uh, that time, uh, and th this happened uh, 25 years ago, <laughs> uh, and uh, and I, I really I became a, a serial entrepreneur. Uh, I started a, a business; it was great. I sold it. Uh, I started the, the next one. Uh, it was a big failure. Uh, I learned a lot. <laughs> uh, 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 so uh, uh, I think that 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 uh, 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 for for me, uh, I, I I use the the uh, the analogy that that uh, when I I was a a, a a young guy, I I read a, a letter from Arthur Rimbaud to his friend, Arthur Rimbaud, the, the French poet, wrote a, 
to his friend that, that, look, my friend, I really would like to write a poem which can serve, can be used as a chair. Oh, bingo, I said that, that it's fantastic. Uh, uh, I have the same idea, but the opposite way around. I really would love to, to build things which you can feel, touch and feel, and it works, it, it has a, a, a dimensions, a, just like a, you can sit on it, a, a, but if you can do it in a way that, that, a, that a, a, those chairs can teach you, tell you about how, a, a, about yourself, about the life, a, about the meaning of life, mm -hmm. a, 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 and and a, I try to combine entrepreneurship business with a, a, with this kind of mindset. A, a, so uh, one of the biggest challenge, if you want to 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 uh, to create a good business, you uh, of course you need to know what is happening on the financial side. But but it is not enough uh, uh, to. Uh, to have the, the, the goal to make money. Mm. So you must have a vision, uh, something which, which you, 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 you see uh, for the next 10 years. And uh, a reality may change uh, 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 where you, you will be 10 years from now. But, but still, you need to, 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 to see uh, always the big picture in front of you. Uh, but at the same time, being an entrepreneur means you need to go down to details. Uh, 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 looking for the big picture, uh, you can fail in, 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 in a very short time. Uh, uh, not understanding uh, how the market works, not understanding the financial, the legal, uh, the technical uh, uh, problems. Uh, so uh, uh, being an entrepreneur means that that you have to, to go continuously back and forth between a, a, a strategy and big picture and vision and, and going down to the details and, the, and the understand uh, the, the little, little details as well and, the, and keep yourself some, somewhere in between uh, uh, with, with, with both a, a word a familiar to you. Uh, I think that, that if, if, this, this is the I feel the most important. Uh, 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 if somebody wants to be an entrepreneur, uh, uh, keeping business in mind, uh, understanding that that without creating money, without a, 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 you cannot create a, a, a value, uh, you, you cannot a, a, a accomplish your goals and you have to 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 put your your fingers both on the, on the on the small details uh, uh, trying not to 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 uh, 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 flood it uh, with those uh, 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 th little things but but uh, understand what's going on uh, and at the same time keep the, the your your visionary uh, approach a, a, and sometimes a, having small, some luck. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> At least that's what I've experienced. Yes, sure. Um, you call yourself a curative ecologist. Mm -hmm. It embodies a very interesting paradox, but if you put those words together, being creative and ecologist, can you sh share to us why you've used yeah. those two? Uh, first of all, I, what I learned a, uh, from studying ecosystems and then building engineered ecosystems, mm -hmm. that, that, that ecosystem is a, 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 a is always moving. It's it's, okay. it's yeah. it, it, like, of course it it it, it means a, a kind of a, 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 a balance, a, but a, it, it is a dynamic system. And every living uh, system in the in the world uh, 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 it has a direction. 
Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, evolving and, and and looking for all for uh, opportunities and and fill the 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 available space and 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 the, so the, a a a, a, a re resilient and robust uh, ecosystem uh, is is always in the move and always evolving. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like a child. <laughs> A, 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 exactly, a, a, and and the, and and it has a direction. And if a, and creativity means that 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 a, a, you you always have to find in every minute a, a, a see what 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 a nature or what your your environment offers you, and see the challenges and and the a, a develop a. a answers and solutions for the ever emerging new challenges and this is how i, I feel that uh, creativity uh, must be part uh, of the dna of, of an ecosystem yeah which make which sums it really nice up I've, it's for me it's uh, i can i can only concur with you is one to adapt to changing circumstances is what life defines. Um, and, and therefore looking into nature is so important to see what is emerging and, in, and especially in what direction it wants to move because that seems to be the natural uh, evolutionary path. And if you can stimulate moving in, into its path, then you have a system that is beneficial and actually works with you without doing anything to it. Sounds very much like, um, there was a Japan. There was a Japanese farmer who invented the passive rice farm, yes. the one straw uh, farming, and he actually only came to the farm once a week, looked at it, talked to the weed, maybe pulled, pulled some weed, and then went back again. And all the farmers were working extremely hard, but mm -hmm. he figured that he sort of was in sync with nature and how how it wanted to move, and it gave. He ensured it had the space to move in that direction. But I, I think it's very important. Of course, you you need to 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 uh, to understand how nature works, and and uh, and there are a, a things you we need to discover. But uh, I see the the biggest challenge and the biggest opportunity when you you can uh, you can see what should be there but currently is not there ah. if you you can uh, realize that that uh, that uh, 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 the system offers you something uh, and waiting for a solution which is not there so so uh, seeing the, the 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 missing part is the biggest a uh, a uh, uh, challenge and the, the biggest opportunity uh, uh, discovering things uh, around you, uh, you you haven't uh, uh, <coughs> uh, uh, seen even if if uh, those are in front of you. Uh, uh, of course, it is very important, but 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 discovering the 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 void, which uh, has to be filled and can be filled, and uh, the, the the system is ready for for this new uh, uh, addition. Uh, I, I see it as, as, as the biggest uh, uh, and the most uh, uh, challenging and, and the interesting part of being creative. I can imagine. And while you were talking, I, I realized um, if, if the debate at the moment of the dialogue at the moment with city planners is, is the, the, the the, the fast transition of cities, um, new electricity systems, new wastewater systems, different uh, type of buildings. They have to deal with so many uh, challenges. W what is your, what would be your um, tip, your uh, hindsight for, for urban planners and architects to find a way to adapt to systems like yours and, and the other ones on the market and find ways to to implement that into the the actual reality of city planning, so I, I think that that the 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 again the biggest challenge for for uh, uh, city planners uh, and the biggest opportunity is to understand that cities are living organisms. Mm -hmm. uh, 
uh, ecosystems themselves. And uh, uh, if you you uh, you understand this, uh, then then the next step is is okay. Uh, how to really to, to understand the the metabolism of these organisms, and uh, and the moment you you start uh, 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 to understand uh, how uh, uh, the, the the intestines and and the liver of of, of, of the city and the kidneys uh, work and 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 the the flow of uh, materials and energy and the flow of information and the flow of people how it can and should be organized in, into a, 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 a living system. Uh, uh, th this is what I, I, I see the, the, the next step in, in, uh, in urban design is, a, is, a, a, is understanding the metabolic pathways of a city, a, a, a be immersed in metabolic mapping and a, 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 Actually, I, I currently uh, start to call myself, uh, beside the creative ecologist, as a as a city doctor. Uh, uh, so, uh, to understanding the the, the 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 metabolism of the city and and identifying the 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 the, the, the problems uh, uh, of of uh, of uh, urban metabolism, uh, I, I see this this as a next step. In in a, in really creating a a, a living a closed habitat a, based on on a deep understanding of of the the patterns and flow of of uh, materials and energy and and the, how how a living organisms from microbes to humans mm -hmm. a, a, are integrated and combined and and living together. And uh, I think that the, in, in recently, uh, the, the one of the most interesting uh, new knowledge uh, was about that we are not alone. Uh, I mean that, that we humans are living together with more than 10,000 species living inside us and, uh, and on, 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 uh, uh, on us and and the and the uh, the moment we realize that 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 uh, we are living in a symbiosis of, of, of the, the hundreds and thousands of species are really a, a live in symbiosis uh, uh, even in a in a, a human individual mm -hmm. uh, uh, then the, this knowledge can be extrapolated uh, and to to uh, uh, to make it is more uh, resilient and efficient. Yeah, so, so to summarize that, once urban planners to understand that we need to go from our industrial, um, let's say centralized city planning, mm -hmm. we go to a living decentralized city planning. Yes. It, it gives them also much more opportunities to adapt to new technologies and, and, and as you mentioned, make, make cells like 10,000, 20, 30,000 people cells much more resilient to what is coming so they don't have to deal with expensive centralized systems. Exactly. So that's a, I hope there will be a lot of them listening because it is a, there's a lot of lessons to be learned and a lot of re-education um, to see it in a different way. So thank you for that. And hopefully they, they pick it up. Um, I'm almost through all my question is fun. It has been really pleasure to talk to you again, and uh, it has been a. I've wrote, wrote down a lot of new uh, ideas, and I like the rebirth of water that will resonate with me. Um, and to end up, I always have uh, a final questions to my guests, and um, that's always a question because I must. I also often get request after podcast okay, where can we find the information where can we find more where can we learn more do you have any suggestions for those who are listening um what kind of books or videos that, that should be on their top 10 list to understand in which direction you're moving and mm -hmm. why that is creating opportunities from a from a micro level from us as humans but also on a macro level city planners and and, and future urban metabolism 
uh, but uh, actually uh, there are a, a couple of of of, of uh, TED talks and 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 information available on, on on the internet and we are now a uh, uh, making it more more a uh, uh, more information accessible uh, uh, as we are we are expanding our our a uh, 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 Work and 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 presence in different parts of the world, but but what I really would would have to 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 uh, suggest that there are a couple a few books which are uh, about uh, about nature and about people, and 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 uh, 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 it is uh, of course uh, I, 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 and and just re reiterate that 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 a uh, uh, changing the world it doesn't. Uh, necessarily mean only uh, implementing new technologies or new scientific uh, 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 information. It is about uh, people, how we uh, 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 see the world, how uh, it is about our attitude. And uh, uh, le le let, let me uh, suggest two books which I, I like very much. And, and one is a, a, a uh, about uh, uh, Alexander von Humboldt. Uh, 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 the, the, the title is The Invention of Nature. And uh, uh, it is about Alexander von uh, Humboldt's new word. Uh, uh, it's a biography uh, written by Andrea Wolf. And she, uh, 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 she really found uh, uh, the this great a uh, scientist and and uh, and the uh, discoverer and adventurer uh, 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 to create a, a, a completely new perspective uh, how 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 uh, uh, how nature should be experienced uh, and uh, and uh, 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 it is but also uh, the book is about uh, about a uh, uh, personality about the human approach. And, and uh, I, I really uh, recommend this, uh, 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 even after 100 year of, uh, more than 100 years of his, his birth, uh, uh, he can give us a, 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 an example how, how, to, how to see uh, nature and how to see the world. And there is another book I I, I like very much, uh, uh, and again, it is not only about the the, the 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 technical or scientific information, but really about the people who are involved in 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 in, in understanding uh, life and nature. And the the, the 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 title is the the tangled tree. Uh, uh, the subtitle is the a radical new history of life. Uh, this is by David uh, Kwamen, and uh, it's about rethinking who we are uh, as individuals or, or as species, and and and, and uh, it is from from going through the 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 concept of tree of life mm -hmm. uh, from Darwin uh, and and how uh, Carl Vose uh, who uh, really uh, uh, found in a complete new uh, a branch of life with the uh, with the archaea bacterium, uh, and 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 how current uh, knowledge uh, has completely rewriting uh, uh, this tree of life. Actually, it seems that there is no tree of life. Uh, it more a network of of uh, of species uh, uh -huh. uh, interaction. Uh, 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 from viruses and humans and mammals and and uh, and uh, so it, it, it's a completely different uh, 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 approach and and uh, it is really I think it, it will change uh, uh, our mindset how we see uh, living systems uh, 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 from uh, the horizontal gene transfer to, to the, 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 the latest uh, molecular uh, uh, phylogenetic uh, uh, knowledge. Uh, so it, it, it really rewrites uh, uh, how we see uh, the, the life. And the, the last one, which I, I, I currently I'm reading, uh, is, uh, is uh, 
uh, it has a, 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 a very good and very funny title. Uh, uh, the title is I Contain Multitudes. Mm -hmm. uh, and it is about, it, it is uh, written by Ed Young and, uh, and uh, uh, it's about a, a completely uh, new uh, view of, of, of our life uh, as, as, as a, uh, again, a, as, as, as a symbiotic network of, of organisms and uh, it, it just uh, uh, helps to, to, uh, uh, to, to put uh, things in a completely different perspective. And just like uh, when uh, uh, 10 years ago, uh, 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 somebody asked who you are, it was so obvious that you are an individual. Mm -hmm. then, uh, 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 if you, you, you really want to understand why do, do you like something? Why do you uh, want to eat something? Why you, you, you fell in love into a girl? And, and uh, uh, behind these uh, emotions and, uh, and decisions, there are hundreds and thousands of microbial species working inside you and influencing our decision. And, and it's, it's a, 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 actually, this is what we are trying to, 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 uh, 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 to put to work when we, we design a sewage treatment plant. We started, uh, actually I started without all these current knowledge uh, 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 to think about how we can provide spaces uh, 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 for for di for different species to find out themselves how mm. they can can do what we would like from them to do and 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 again say so it's 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 a, the cooperation of of uh, and sometimes the 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 the, the struggles between the different species. Uh, uh, this is make this makes biology and nature so exciting. I haven't heard the last two, so I'm going to definitely read up on them. Yes. I have the book of Alexander Humboldt in my house, so mm -hmm. I'm going to read that one definitely now, if it's on your recommendation list. Mm -hmm. Esvan, thank you so much for today. There's, uh, it has been extremely insightful, and thank you for taking your time to share your insights with uh, with us. Um, that means that we're at the end of the podcast and uh, there were good reflections on biology, water, and I, th I think the final is that there's a symbiosis between everything and the more we understand that, the better, the better choices we can make. Um, so thank you for this and now join me for another episode of the Masters of Beautiful Achievements podcast where we will again explore the wonders of natural solutions for tomorrow's challenges. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye.